Hello, it's Sarah, and I have a share today. Um, I altered some dominoes, and I did these with printables that I got at Lisa's Altered Art. Dot com. I think it was Christy, Twins for Me Too, who had mentioned that she got her printables from there. And so I went over and checked it out. And there was some really cute stuff. And specifically, these domino um, printables. Because what I liked about them was they had a front and a back. So this one says sassy, right? And it's the little angel. And then on the back, it gives a little, a brief definition. I'm looking around the tripod. Lively and spirited, stylish, chic. That's sassy. So I like that because for a domino, it is a front and back piece. And even for like um, a domino book, you could put this one on the front and then you make your little pages in the middle and then the definition on the back. So I really like the front and back of that. So that's what attracted me to them. Um, so I'm going to talk about that first. That was what I played with first. Um, so I went ahead and I, I decided to, I Mod Podged everything on first. And then I used, oh my God, it's like my brain, um, embossing powder. Sorry. I wanted to emboss the edges instead of using the alcohol inks because I wanted to start with plain dominoes. I didn't, I didn't want to like alter them first, like do the, get the inks out and do all that. I just wanted to get right to the, to the, um, paper. So, um, I decided to use embossing powder and on these, I ended up putting two layers because the first layer was just the plain, like this is silver, this is gold. And then I had some blue ones too. Well, they were, they turned out to be mistakes, but the blue, it was, um, I think it was a recollections blue and it was hard to melt and everything. Um, but then I had this clear glitter. So I put the clear glitter on top and what it ended up doing was making it really thicker, much thicker. And I'm not sure if that was the problem or not, because I want to tell you what I ran into with these. Um, I lost four of them. These are four that I, I didn't make into keychains because I lost the hook. I put eye screws in these. First I drilled with my Dremel and I have approximately the, the size drill bit that you would think would be fine with these. And I'm not sure if they were just weak. They're the ones that you get in the wood department. Um, those little silver, um, um, eye screws. And so first I drilled and then I started, I started screwing it in and then I would use my, um, my flat, my needle nose pliers, but they're flat. I forget what they're called, but anyway, and, and then they would break. I would get them just so much, just so far down in there and they would break. I actually re-drilled this, but, um, I didn't screw cause I like, like this was bossy, stubborn, um, fearless and silly. They were like four of the, the main um, words, you know. So anyway, that was a loss. I don't know what happened specifically, um, but I did find that for the rest of these, and I have tons more I did, that the eye screws that I got from um, Hobby Lobby, they're the spare parts one specifically, and they come with two sizes. They have the big ones on the bottom and the, the smaller same size as these that you get in the wood department on the top, and they're different colors though. They have the, the like bronze color, silver, and gold, um, but they fit fine. They fit perfect. I, I drilled the dominoes and put them in. I didn't lose one. Not one of them broke. So I don't know if these were just a tad too big and then I was forcing them into the hole or what was going on, but it was very disappointing. I also struggled with, um, I used the Mod Podge Dimensional Magic on these and I love that because it has glitter in it. And so you can just put a coat of that on and it's all glittered for you. You don't have to worry about adding glitter to anything. And it, um, I'm impatient and it took too long to dry. And so I got 
when I turned them over to um, do the other side, it wasn't done being dry, and I got all these bumps on the front and stuff. So these, this first batch were so trying and really tedious for me, but I do love how they turned out. So I have actually four or five of these that turned out okay. I have naughty, frolicsome, sassy, and bubbly. And on the back, lively and spirited style. Oh, I already read that one. Bubbly says lively, enthusiastic. Frolicsome says merrily, playful, full of fun. And I hung a little um, heart charm that says made with love on the chain of each keychain. So I don't know. I think they're going to be cool to have at a craft show. I'm going to have a bunch of them. And then this was the other um, printable that I got. These were more of fairies. So each one is called like wisdom fairy, crop fairy, original fairy. So on the front, it's kind of like an, an altered, this one says blessing, right? And I used um, glossy accents on all these. I just, I didn't use the other stuff. I think it just took too long to dry. I don't know. Both of them, you have to be patient. You have to really just let everything dry before you try to turn it over and do the other side. But this one says blessing fairy and she's a little girl and it looks like she's almost been paper pieced on there you know there's a picture and then there's like a cut out crown but it's all done for you and then I just um silver emboss the edges and it says may the blessings of each day be the blessings you need most so I just thought that was super cute and someone will really dig that and think that's a cool little gift to give someone you know this giving fairy very similar images little girls with crowns and wings and it's this is the giving fairy and it says a candle loses nothing by lighting another candle and I just put another little gold the gold heart on there because some of them have those gold see I told you I had gold findings on these so I some of them I put the gold keychain um, there's an art fairy and she's super cute and I used pink embossing on that decorate yourself from the inside out it says um, let's see. Oh my God, this one's funny. The Butter Fairy. Everything tastes better with butter. And on her, she has a Paula Deen button on. So, I don't know. I just think they're cute. I think people will really think they're neat as like just a stocking stuffer type thing. Silly Fairy. Fill yourself with nonsense and fun. Dream Fairy. Cherish yesterday. Dream tomorrow. Live today. So they're just cute. And then I just put a little chain and that made with love. So they're just a neat little keychain. So I thought that was cool. Just know that, um, <clears throat> you know, getting these eye hooks isn't, isn't as easy as it seems. I mean, I was so upset that I lost those. I think there was more than four because I actually re-drilled a couple. Oh, and then the other thing was, yeah, I did. You can totally see. This is the cowgirl fairy, and she's, I love this one too, but see the bumps in that? That's because I flipped it over to do this side, and it was on, I think I laid them on um, wax paper, and the wax paper like made this waviness, and I went over it with another layer to try and fix it, and it fixed it, but you can still see that. So this is the cowgirl fairy, and it says, never squat with your spurs on. I thought that was cute. And this is the friend fairy, she's bumpy too. Um, a friend is one of the most, uh, one of the nicest things you can have and one of the best things you can be. So these are really sweet sentiments. And this again is lisasalteredart.com. So if you want to play with your dominoes, oh, I also had a sheet of these. These are the shopping queen and these are only one sided, but I'm going to make these into magnets. So I need to, um, we have shopping, glamour, scrapbook, cupcake, jewelry, and I'm just going to make these into magnets since they're one-sided. I'll put a magnet on them, and um, I think they're cool for magnets, too, because I have a couple more magnet boards to make. But let me think. Um, all right, you guys, that's it for now. Um, I have a lot of things I'm thinking about and working on, so I'll be back. Thanks for watching.